Thank you very much, Penny. Uh, of course, she's most famous for EastEnders, <laughs> strutting her stuff on Strictly, but now Letitia Dean is set to star in the stage version of the massive movie High School Musical. So it's High School Musical, the musical. Uh, she'll be playing <laughs> drama teacher, Miss Darbers. Uh, but before we chat to Letitia, let's see a little snippet of the show that's currently on tour across the UK. This film, if you haven't seen it, there are lots of young people out there who are on Easter holidays, people beside themselves. There's the musical of High School New School. Letitia's here now. It's huge, this film, isn't it? Absolutely massive. I didn't like realise. Greece, isn't it? For it's another bigger, generation. Yeah, it's bigger. Yeah. It's bigger than Greece. Totally, did you, did you yeah. know it? I didn't know too much about it, but um, I spoke to a few of my friends who've got children and stuff, and they were just like, my kudos has just gone through <laughs> the roof. It's like, oh my God, High School Musical. So Apparently, I realised after that it was a huge thing. 250 it? million people have seen the film. In a short amazing, space of time, because it's only been out oh, for a few yeah. years, like four yeah, years maybe it's now. It's High School Musical 2 now. Is yeah. that sort of thing that's worrying you slightly, Tisha? Oh, that's great. Well, thank you for that, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> slightly. I think after doing the Strictly Arena tour, you know, going to Hammersmith Apollo, it's a three and a half thousand seater, I think that's kind of prepared me for like those massive audiences winning. And I went to see the tour the other day in South End, and it's just the most amazing musical because it's uplifting, it's everything for the family, you know. Mm. and. You know, you walk away with a spring in your step. I mean, yeah. like you say, Kate, it's like mm. a, a modern-day Greece, really. Which I remember loving as a teenager. Yeah. It's so great. It's Everybody adorable. knew the song. Yeah, and you acted out with your friends. It's that lovely, positive thing, isn't yeah. it? And then Greece 2 came along, which wasn't quite <laughs> as successful. Um, in terms of... Yeah. Now, I know for a fact, because when I came down to see Kate on Strictly, and I know how nervous Kate got, I remember sitting there watching you and being paralysed because I could see how nervous you were. Like, you were paralysed? Yeah, oh, no, but that's, but that's <laughs> yeah. how worrying it was, yeah. watching you, and you put yourself through that every night. You really... Your nerves sort of are pretty atrocious in that sort of situation, aren't they? They are pretty atrocious. I think as well, it's when you're doing something as yourself, really, I found the hardest mm. thing. And, and doing something out of your comfort zone, even though I've been to a stage school and everything, it still doesn't prepare for that sort of, like... Nonsense. Nonsance, really. It was just, you did know, you do, and we all were so Did you have, like, a pre-show routine that you sort I of... I went to the toilet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was off that ladder, too. But, um, you know, apart from that, really, you just get on with it, don't you, Kate? But it was, yeah, it was, it was tough. Do you think Nothing that, though. I mean, obviously, going, uh, you'll, you'll be playing a character, you're playing Miss Darvis, yeah. so obviously that's going to allow you to be hide behind that character again, which I'm sure you're more comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Will you get the nerves when you go out for those first few nights? Probably, I'd imagine. I'd be found in a, a local toilet again. So. <laughs> but I'm playing older, which is fair, Is that easier? Yes, yes. And, and, and in terms of sort of going out, is, is it, are you relishing the opportunity to be, to, to, I imagine you're going to be singing again and, and there'll be some dancing involved? Yeah, I think I've got a little light movement, which I call it, and I don't think I'll be doing <laughs> any light in, to do. so whoever comes to see it will be thrilled about that, to be honest. But I think I a little bit of singing, but nothing major, it's, it's mainly an acting role for me, so and it's, it's the first a lovely time, part. And it's the first time since you're 13, because you, you, you were in Annie? I did Annie, yeah, when I was 13 at the Victoria Palace, yeah, many moons ago. Did you actually play Annie, or...? I didn't, and I was very bitter. <laughs> I tried to get her off every night. Such a young age. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thirteen, <laughs> it should be me. <laughs> but, um, you know, Miss Darby is a great character to me. You know, she just loves her students. She wants them to excel in theatre, and I think she probably knows every Shakespearean play going and probably hopes she'd be Meryl Streep in her past. Have you, have you modelled her on, on some of the teachers you had at your... Because you went to a sort of stage school, didn't you? Yeah. Have you got... Is there someone in your mind that you think of when you're playing her? I've got a few little thoughts on it, yeah, but I can't <laughs> say no. But yeah, a few little thoughts. And she and she's quite theatrical, quite count, quite eccentric, and I think I'd probably have a few of those elements <laughs> that slipped through the net. One or two. From my childhood, yeah. It might tick <laughs> and of course, EastEnders has, has just had a, a huge sort of uh, ratings boost because of the, mm. the return of Ricky and Bianca and, yeah. and, the, and Frank's big funeral. Do you follow EastEnders still? I, 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 see, I probably watch it more now that I'm not in it. Really? You know, yes, mm. it's kind of hard watching yourself, but... You know, those characters are just so fabulous, aren't they? I mean, you just, you just can't buy Some it. of the iconic characters, as, as was your character and, and your parents in, in EastEnders as well. Yeah. You, as I was reading, you, you haven't been killed off. You did leave. Do you think you'd go back? 
Well, I always say never say never, really. I think Sharon's back in America, probably working as a manager of Hooters. That's, <laughs> that's, that's my little backstory that I've given myself. I love that. And I don't think she's been found hanging from Bridge Street, has she said? Yet. No, not just yet. Yeah, so. But that would be, that'd be, why would she want to come back from Hooters, for heaven's sake? Uh, no, who'd want to come there. back from Hooters? No one would ever no, want to leave exactly. there. Dream job. Well, look, it's lovely to see you. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> in this morning. When's the, when are you starting? Uh, you know? It opens in June, and as far as I know, it finishes end of August. Great, so no. you've got a couple of months, but good luck when it all starts. Break Thank a leg, as they say. It's yeah, lovely to see you. I probably morning. will. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Hey, dream jobs, that's what we're talking about.